what is happening people let me turn off the music okay so what we've got here is our first model y we do loads of wraps here i've wrapped numerous testers but it's the first model y that i am wrapping so model y's landed we're doing it in matte metallic avery denison silver beautiful color neil's not too sure on it i think it's going to look amazing PPF on here, I mean this is the factory PPF, look at this, get closer to that now. This is factory, the car's like a week old. So just so you know, PPF is not perfect, I'm not putting them off, I'm not putting them down, but you know, this happens. But anyway, we don't want to wrap over this because I don't want this outline. The vinyl's going to protect the paint anyway. So this is how we're going to do it. Some people can, you can, will say just put it off, but I like to remove the steam because it's nice and gentle, not going to harm anything. Get a good grip on it, there we go. And it comes off really easy. Just like this. So if you ever need to remove PPF off your car and you want to replace it for any reason, this is what I'd recommend doing. Get yourself a steamer and remove it like this. Because you don't want that tear in action. See that tear where it's, it's pulling in Yankee because that can pull the clear off. We don't want it. Jumping straight in now, first panel, it's going to be the bonnet. I want you to check out how we're getting this bonnet down. Uh, we're not doing a half and half. Watch how we get this down and see what you think. I'm not going to be chatting and talking. I'm just going to be working with Neil. I'm going to be, remember Neil's new to vinyl wrapping. So I will be kind of teaching him and working him through squeegeeing and how to squeegee right. So, all right, ready? Straight in. Remember, we don't want any tears or uh, what they're called, they're called zippers, I think they're called. So if I, what we should be able to do, and then together, there we go, that's out what we want. Yeah, beautiful. We're looking just like this in paint, and then like that's what they did. Right, okay, so, you want, right there, the, like you want to be like, so we can, yeah. yeah, so get your hook. Are you, are you hooked? Yeah. See, I need to. You, you, you're, giving, you're pulling too much with that arm. So look, I'm round. Can you see that there? Yeah. And then, what I want you to do, I've lost mine a little bit here. I've lost it. Oh, is yours around like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, and then what I'm going to do, you're going to give it a little, a little shake, and then you're going to shift it here. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll get this out of the way. And then what we can do here is, I want to show you the, like, what we call the shimmy technique. Okay? So, what we're going to do, watch this. So, I'm going to pick it up. And look, I'll just give it a little shake, yeah? Down. See the difference? Yeah. So look, I'll pick up. So what we're doing by shaking it, we're shifting that tension and then down. That's fine. So you're gonna do this side, but look, give it, don't be afraid, don't put it too much, but you'll feel it go. Yeah? So I'm not gonna do it for you. There you go. Beautiful. Nice, excellent, that's fantastic. And what we know here is, let's go for it. And what we know is by doing this, so you've got to think about how you're picking that up, that yeah. snap then is loosened, yeah? So if you go again, lovely, look at that. Try and do this bit, that looks, so here, let me do this bit for you actually. So here, what I find is uneasy is where you can't get your hand. Get your hand on the top. I, I mean, I'm pulling this yeah. really hard. Okay? Yeah. That was three minutes. Insane. 
So, what we're going to do now, we're going to lock the middle, and then you're going to work your side. Yeah, that's the middle locked. Okay, right. The key is, remember, your squeegee, look at my angle. So where's my lock line? So look at my angle. You see it? Because look, I want the air. If you start going like this, it's going to bunch up. Okay? And make sure you press him. Are you pressing hard? Yeah. Perfect. And then what I like to do is this. So now, what have I done? I've chopped. I've got a section there and a section here to do. So I know I can just start firing this down. I need my glove as well. I should always have my glove on. Starting to look fantastic now. Very tricky wings. The meal is here. Posey in this panel. So what we're doing now is just feeding down this door. So as you can see, the liners still on the on the film. We've got no tension. It's loose. So I'm not stretching it, using heat or anything like that. And we're just going to roll this, take my time and roll it down the door. The rest of this video on this door anyway is going to be, um, what's it called? Time lapse. Yeah, that's how we're going to roll. So this is a zero stretch bumper. Although it looks like we're putting a lot of tension into this, we're not. Ooh. 
And there is the bumper now wrapped around now. I've got the difficulty of all these tricky pieces in here. But as you can see, I haven't lost any of the color. Minimal stretch, there was stretch, but very minimal. That's, I guess that's why it's called the zero stretch technique. Not like the normal whack it round and shrink it and all that business. So yeah. Okay. 
Next time, game ready? Next time, game ready? Yep. Yeah. That looks good to me. Look, that's the bottom of the bumper there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. I thought that that was an actual bumper. I don't think it is. I think that's actually the bottom. Oh, no. Where is the bottom? Interesting fact about this Avery vinyl. So it's satin metallic, and look at this. Look how easy it wants to rip. So imagine pulling this around a panel, a little tear. Very, very delicate film. One of the most delicate films I've worked with. So you can't be doing big pulls and big stretches with this. If you do, you lose the colour or it just snaps. So at this point, I've got no vinyl left because we've scrapped quite a few pieces um, trying to stretch it round panels. So we've, we've moved to a different game plan. All right? Difficult. Sorry, bro. That's fine, man. Don't mind if that didn't hurt me. Mm. That was on my, the top of my knee. I'm worried about your knee. My left knee is thin. Sorry, bro. Right. We are going to leave, so. Nice one piece mirror there, looking fantastic. Let's have a look at the inside. Lost a little bit of colour, maybe, it's ever so slightly, but you can't really tell. And to get it down in one piece clean, I think it's worth the slight trade off. Wonderful. So 
So guys, Halo, obviously we are G-Technic accredited. Halo, what people don't know about vinyl, vinyl is actually porous. You can actually see this soaking it up as we're doing it. So we wanna block those pores. So it's gonna look a little bit crap as we're doing it, but we can blend into these lines nicely. So there's a big thick line up here. I can feel it's feeling a lot slippier as well, which is nice. Um, so here we go. And we're gonna repeat this over the whole of the car that's wrapped and go from there. Just putting these little finishing touches on to really, oh, they don't fit. Oh, they do. The devil is in the detail. Right, next thing we're gonna do here is these frunks or this section here gets full of these. If you've got a Tesla Y or three, or even an X maybe, but I know that they build up loads here because when we're detailing them, I'm forever blowing it out. So we've got this really cool little piece here. Neil is carefully doing his piece. So if we lay this here and then just get our, our little, so we're gonna get these off and then I'll show you what and how this thing goes on. So there is your, uh, weather strip installed to the underside so we've got the sticky pads we remove those pieces once it's down it seals against this section here so it keeps all the crap here instead of it making a mess down here Woo, guys this job beat me up three and a half days to wrap it um full job with the ceramic has taken four days uh, obviously struggled a little bit me and neil definitely was in the frying pan on this one this was a very very tough job uh, for Neil to be jumping in on. Obviously, I need certain type of help, but he's done amazing, so big thank you to Neil. Definitely a tough one. You enjoyed it? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like being on camera. So anyway, let's have a little walk through it. Neil, can you open the uh, front for me? And let's have a walk around. So let's have a look at this. Back of the doors. While we're there, nice and clean. Wrap further into this section, let's open up the trunk. Nice wrap in there, nice and clean. Beautiful tuck on there. From bumper, horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Gosh, it looks even better on the camera. Man, well, shall I say, it looks even better in person than it looks in the camera, and on the camera it looks amazing. Um, here's the finish on the inside, and that's like that on all the way around. Finish on the bottom of the bonnet. Show you some corners, as they're notoriously difficult. Look at that for a corner, isn't that? Can't get any closer than that. Another chunky corner there, finish there. I'm happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. Finish on the top of the door handles. Look at that up there. How good is that? Obviously no wrap is perfect, but one piece mirrors. One piece mirrors. Will they hold? I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. And that is the final piece we've got. So we've done some little extras as well. As you saw, we put that front guard on. Put these Teslas on, black badge here. Uh, screen protector on there, Matt. Did the rear badge there, the Tesla sign. Uh, we did have some black badges to go on, but unfortunately the customer purchased uh, overlays and not actual badges, so she'll have to stick those on herself. But outside of that, there she is. Avery Dennison Matte Silver Metallic 
incredibly difficult film to work with because it just wants to snap. If you pull it too much, it gets really shiny. So it's, it's been a difficult job, but that I think is a really special, cool Tesla Model Y. I'm gonna call it, as we've been calling it, clean. Guys, like, subscribe, please. Really want those followers this year. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If anybody's interested in getting your car PPF'd or wrapped or detailed, please give us a DM or a call or an email.